Me now to talk about COVID-19 and the effects on children is a child development expert, Mary Koku. Good to have you join us, Mary Koku. Now, I'm here. talk to us about what you have observed as the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic on children, especially their mental health. Okay. Um, I think that one, one thing is very clear is that we all understand that children are not necessarily the face of the pandemic. I mean, based on the age bracket that we feel are more at risk, right? But the truth is that they actually risk being among the pandemic's biggest um, victims. So, I mean, as a mother and someone who had to deal with a lot of kids, it became very glaring to you that nonetheless, that their lives were changed in the most profound ways. And I'm talking about children of all ages and in all countries are being affected, especially there have been, you know, some socioeconomic impacts on them, their mental health. I mean, they go through emotions just like their parents go through, you know. So there were a lot of uh, mitigation measures that may inadvertently be more harmful than good than to the children, but which we as a country didn't even pay serious attention to, even when it comes to the policy development for the pandemic. I don't think that we thought about the impact it will have on the children. At a point, my son comes and is so restless. Once they are put in this room, in this house, homes, they can't go out to play. You know, these are children, a lot of chemicals. They are at that age where they want to explore, they want to play hard, they play really hard. And all of those were curtailed. they basically put in a box they're not used to. Then you begin to question, ask yourself, how are they coping? A lot of us didn't ask those questions, and I'm so grateful that today we are remembering the children, and today we are thinking about their rights, as it were, uh, for them to enjoy their rights, and that we as a country should also remember them in, when we're making policy as, as it regards the pandemic. They went through excavating mental health. Uh, if you like, um, uh, uh, um, a lot of them... All right, uh, just, went, just allow uh, me butt in here, because you said that um, the ch children are not at the at-risk group. You're right about that. But in September, the federal government said that children constitute about 10% of COVID-19 cases in Nigeria. Um, how do we continue to protect children at this time, especially because schools um, are now in session? Okay, from the federal government account, what it is that every 10 cases, one is a child, right? So that is still, that is the number, but it's not that high risk. But I'm talking about their risk is, may not be more in the pandemic itself because of their age, but they're actually having more issues that they face in the face of the pandemic. Now they've gone back to school. If you're asking about them going back to school and how they can be protected, I feel that um, the school, based on the various um, um, routine COVID measures that have been put in place across schools in the country, the children may actually be safer in the school environment because the schools would have to adhere to those um, measures that uh, the, the, the government has put in place. I mean, I've been to my children's school and other schools, and I see that you have to go through this tunnel for yourself sanitized. And then I cannot speak for the public schools. I don't know how much of that effort. So we should be looking at the children who are more at risk, actually, children in the public school, the indigent children. We should be speaking more for those kids because I really can't tell how, they are, how safe they are in their own school. So, yes. Protection of the children post the lockdown, and there's a second wave now. They are very much at risk because if you have one in ten, it's right. one in ten, and it can get really um, high. The figure can increase, All so right. we really need to look at that. Child development expert Mary Koku, thanks for talking to us.